All right, everyone, welcome back to Ad Policies for Content Creative and Targeting module. We're going to continue talking about Facebook advertising, and we're almost there, um, but we want to take um, some, we want to take care of some stuff away first, like policies, the ad, Facebook ads policies, because it's very important that you understand that Facebook do have policies that we have to obey by, right? We use in the platform. We are not, um, we have to play by the rules essentially, right? We're gonna go in and use their platform to advertise. Yes, we put in money into it, but at the same time, the money that is being put into it, right, is to cover the ad expenses. It's not like we have any other charges to um, use their advertising platform. So might as well, right, play by the rules. Um, and it's just basically to try to keep Facebook an environment where the user experience is important because otherwise Facebook will go away if, if they will not be concerned about taking care of the customer experience. So again, let's just go through this. Um, it's not the most interesting part of becoming, you know, doing advertising on Facebook, but um, it's good to have an understanding of what sort of things are gonna get your ad denied or your account even blocked from doing advertising, okay? And let's go ahead and get started to continue Facebook uh, advertising. Uh, let me see, let me just check the video real quick, okay? So here's just a quick overview. I will recommend you to Google uh, Facebook uh, free course and go through this course over here that I've that Facebook has, right? Um, if if you know, if you go just Google Facebook um, course, free uh, free course or something like that, you should find something that says facebook.com forward slash business forward slash learn. And uh, if you go start the course, you're gonna see a bunch of different um, courses available. So just, um, and, and there's one that is there in regards to ad policies, I will recommend you to go through this one. It has very good, straightforward questions, common sense questions that can help you have a, a little bit better understanding of what sort of things Facebook looks for when uh, going through the ad uh, approval review process and what sort of process you have available if your ad is, gets this approved. And some questions re you know, related as well, common sense, like, okay, what ads do you think Facebook will approve and which ones won't be approved. Um, so definitely take advantage of this free course that Facebook put together. Other things you may wanna do is Google Facebook ads policies, right? And you can go through this um, to also as well get a quick review understanding of what are those Facebook ads policies, right? What are things that Facebook will look for and may, your, may prevent your ads to, uh, to get approved. So, Let's go ahead and get started here. Um, here are right away, you dive in with some questions, right? Just to, um, I guess, Facebook over here is trying to get you to um, <coughs> set up the course. Uh, it goes through some initial questions, just, I guess, just to try to get you through, um, get a quick, quick understanding of what is it that you are doing. So let's see, the first question is, will your business ads be promoted adult content? Um, that's a big no-no, right? It says over here, this include, but it's not limited to pornography, sexual public publications, sex toys, strip clubs, gentlemen clubs, sexual enhancement drugs, and nudity. Definitely not, not right. Um, next one is, will your business ads promote or facilitate the sale or consumption of drugs? So that's another big no-no, right? But um, this is just some gathering questions that Facebook is doing to for the course and just to give you some feedback. But obviously that's a big no-no as well that will not do, not only it's, um, <laughs> it not only is obviously against Facebook policy, but obviously, right, these are things that are um, not allowed illegal in many uh, different states. Will your business ads promote online gambling? Uh, it says over here, select no if you're being pre-approved after submitting the real money gaming application form found here, or if you are directing people to brick and mortar establishment, other use cases likely won't, won't be allowed, 
So that's a big no-no, right? To um, uh, do gambling, you know, promote gambling, um, it's very hard to get approved. So um, they do have a review process, but again, it's not uh, something that anybody will try to go through just because it's like jumping through different hoops that uh, is really gonna worth the be it, it gotta be worth the time and money for you to try, want to go through that. Plus, I'm sure they're gonna have a lot of requirements for you to have in place uh, before they will, will, will want to approve it. But I'm not familiar with that, so I wouldn't be able to tell you anything. Definitely, it's not something that I want to do. Will your business ad promote the sale of weapons, ammunition, or explosives? Definitely no. Uh, but you can see there are some common things, right, that uh, you want to stay away from. Is your business an online pharmacy? Um, so I know there is something very popular is hemp, I don't know, hemp oils or hemp, um, type of direct selling type of deal, CBD oil versus hemp oil versus, so I see some business opportunity like that, some direct selling, direct selling opportunities. Um, I'm not too familiar with them, so I wouldn't be able to find a good example, but I know there's some um, direct selling companies that are using the affiliated marketing or MLM sort of style um, network marketing style type of business. So not sure what your case will be, not sure what kind of feedback you will get. Let's say no for now, let's see if I guess this, okay. Um, I'm not sure what, I wanted to change you to just see if uh, what will happen. Then it says, will your business ads promote the sales of tobacco? Um, okay. Is your business a dating or uh, dual friend finder side? So <clears throat> just go through this process, right? It's very, I think it will help you a lot to uh, clear out some questions that you may have depending on the products that you may be trying to promote. Um, is your business a dating uh, of a dual finder? Um, now, some of this stuff may, may be more of an educational, educational oriented. Maybe you want to study more of those, like, I don't know, let's say, you know, what are the, some of the damages that tobacco will promote, we will produce, will provide to the health. Um, or, <clears throat> or maybe an ad review in different um, adult friend finder type of site. Well, I, I don't, well, no, that could be for pornography, but it, 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 this is a good questionnaire to go through if you're not sure if your product may be a uh, little bit of concern to Facebook to promote it, to advertise it. Um, so definitely go through this course, read the policies, um, and go through the process. So, okay, I went and, and answered my questions. Uh, none of them give me a, a long feedback that may prevent me from advertising. So um, it's okay. Um, let's see. Before ads appear on Facebook and Instagram, they are reviewed to make sure they don't violate any of the policies we mentioned so far. After you click place an order, when creating a new campaign, your ads are submitted for review. Okay, so when you submit a a uh, Facebook ads review, there are different things that Facebook will look at. I'm gonna go over briefly, real quick, um, <clears throat> but not too much, not not too in depth, because I think um, if we follow the course, I think there's some other things they they're gonna cover. Uh, that we're gonna cover right now. And so I just don't, don't wanna be repeating too much of what uh, they will be saying later on. So for example, if I'm doing that, I don't know, advertising for um, four houses, right? Let's say, so. Not necessarily need to be four houses, but um, Let's say I'm doing some ads. Uh, some of the things are gonna look at uh, different ads that, um, let's see, what do we have they does for real views? Let's see, let's try to go to which ad.
All right, so where 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 was? Uh, so so many things you want to keep in mind is uh, I think um, who you're targeting on the ad may be some of the things that they're gonna look at to make sure you're not discriminating. Um, but the ones that the other things that they're gonna look at for definitely it's uh, obviously the copy on your ad, right? What what your what you are putting here as a copy of your ad text? Um, they're gonna look at that. They're gonna look at the text, uh, the the headline. Um, they're actually gonna look as well. If you have people going to a to a landing page to a website, they're gonna look at that as well. So yeah, that's part of the review process to, uh, where where they're gonna go and 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 see what type of where are you sending people to. Okay, and so. Definitely keep that in mind. Those are different. Those are points of checks that they do. Um, it says over here, even though you may add star delivery, it can be subject to multiple levels of review. So your ad may start may start at some point, but it could uh, it is still subject to multiple levels of review, right? Because maybe they have uh, uh, some initial review process where they go in. And approve it, but still they may have some other processes in place um, to continue further uh, review your ad, and it will eventually this it may eventually be disapproved. Although it says it could be initially high number, <clears throat> um, yeah, exactly. So other things that may affect it is uh, you write high number of negative reviews, uh, such as people making your ad a spam or hiding your ad. Uh, those are definitely things you want to watch out for on your advertising. Uh, some of the things you can go and check for those are, let's see if I can find it. Uh, so no, let me see. So there, there's things you want to look, watch out for on your ad as well, right? Because even though it may be approved, uh, a lot of people uh, that could be uh, providing negative review to to your ad um, could get your ad can um, get you, get your ad um, uh, uh, rejected, right, or or denied, or or um, is that the word I'm looking for, or disapproved, right? So uh, there's. There's things you can do to check the statistics of the ads. Let's see. Um, so not in here. All right. That was another way. But um, the other way that you can see w w um, what um, what sort of statistics your ads is getting. I think there was another way, but let's go this way because uh, that's the way I can remember right now. So if you go to page post, right? Uh, by the way, this is Ads Manager. I don't think I went through this process of, of creating Ads Manager yet, but um, <clears throat> we're going to go into that in a later video. But in your Ads Manager, uh, this is my business, Ads Manager, um, you can go into uh, post, page post, right? And then uh, if you manage multiple pages, select the page that you want to see the different posts for. Um, and then you can see over here, right? Do you want to see what type of, so for example, if you've been, um, so for example, if you want to see what post, uh, what ads post you're running or what ads you're running, right? And you want to see the <clears throat> the statistics on those, uh, well, just, just basically uh, open, right? Just come to this over here, page post, ad post, and then you can see over here, Statistics about how you uh, your ad is performing and the things you want to watch out for is this negative reviews over here Now, I don't know what type of ratio <clears throat> You want to keep you want to watch out for right like if you have for example um, uh, For every hundred person, maybe you want to have uh, One hide if you get maybe for every hundred person you get five hide then Facebook definitely is gonna I don't know what kind of ratio is the one you're gonna be looking for but definitely keep an eye on that, right? If, it's, if you start getting a lot of high posts, a, a lot of high old posts on like your pages, if a lot of people are reporting as spam, um, <clears throat> you know, those are indicators that are reporting back to Facebook and giving it basically a bad review for your ad. 
that could get your ad shut, your ad um, disapproved, even though it's been running, or your ad account shut down. Period. So, what if your ad is wasn't approved initially, right? Uh, there's different things you can go about it. Um, one, the first thing you gotta do is is read what um, what the information is providing when your ad is disapproved. So, when you go to when you are submitting your ad for approval. <clears throat> Um, you're gonna hit publish, and what may happen is right away it's you're gonna get a warning on the very top of the page if for some reason it doesn't get approved right away, right? Because there are things that check up that Facebook does initially, like for example, making sure that you are completing all the different pieces like for example if you have a an advertising for sending people to a website they want to make sure that you have the website listed right if you are for example putting a post an advertising that needs to have a picture on our video or a video uh, if you hit polish because you forgot that you were rushing it then facebook will go ahead and let you say, not 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 reject it right now or disapprove but it will say hey you know it'd be like a warning error you 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 didn't put the the picture or video and so go back and and add it um so that's the number one step right make sure if you get something right away go back see what is going on with facebook and or or what sort of things you probably might have missed and usually the descriptions are uh somewhat helpful sometimes don't don't make sense or or i just not you know something that perhaps i might have no encounter before sometimes there are glitches within facebook right so the when if for some reason you are think that you got everything um, good, make sure to have somebody else check it for you that may know about ads. And if every you know, and if you do those two processes, everybody check and still looking good, then um, mm, I don't know. Maybe you want to Google somewhere on Facebook, depending how much time you have, right? If you just sometimes maybe a glitch, so maybe you want to start from scratch all over, or or at least duplicate the at the ad set or duplicate the, the ad, see if that fixes the issues. Uh, for example, one that I was having a lot, um, you know, like the last part of 2018 is that I will get a um, error message saying Facebook Pixel not um, uh, not What's the message? Something about Facebook Pixel not allowed to be used with it with this ad account, something like that, right? And so I will hit publish. I will go back and make sure that I was using the right Pixel that was allowed with the right account, um, and nothing was happening. I was refreshing over here. And nothing was happening. So I finally realized that um, by turning on and off this Facebook Pixel deal is what um, got that issue fixed. So it was more like a bug basically from Facebook. Um, now, a lot of times it's not worth it to go through the uh, appeal process. That is something that you'll see uh, on the very top in red. Um, it's gonna have an appeal process. Your your ad will not be published, of course, because obviously it wasn't approved. Um, and so a lot of times it, not, it may not be worth it to go through it simply because it might take five days going back and forward to see what happened and sometimes may even may just they may just get back to you with general answers like um oh you know you didn't follow the ad policy or is what you did is against the ad policies just go ahead and go back and review the ad policies but it doesn't tell you specifically what caused your ad to to, to be rejected right so sometimes it's i mean a lot of the times much it's much worth it to just start from scratch um, review your ad copy. Make sure you have nothing involved here that uh, you know have claims about money, about things about you, or, uh, or you know um, hype claims like that. Um, so yeah, let's see what else. So, what if your ad wasn't approved? I just went through some of those. Keep policies content. Uh, when you create an ad, Facebook, Instagram, please keep in mind the following guidelines, headline and body text, personal characteristic ads can assert or imply directly or indirectly. 
that you know a person no person's personal characteristics this include a person's name race ethnic etc so for example not acceptable are you a christian or not acceptable buy this shirt greg um, are you a christian acceptable meet christian's woman so as you can see here it gives you the not acceptable for are you a christian this will be disapproved because it implies the religion of a person but then uh, an ad that says meet christian woman that's different uh, by this shirt greg this will also be disapproved because it implies the knowledge of a person's name i don't know how many gregs are in there personal personalized t-shirts questions what two phrases below will be acceptable in facebook or instagram ad choose um what two phrases below will be acceptable for so meet black men right are you black i don't think that car insurance for 1824 no i think it's a service for teens let's see if i got that right you right me black man is acceptable because it is a statement that describes a product right and are you black is not acceptable because it implies that an advertisers know the race car insurance for 1824 year old is not acceptable because it implies advertising know the person's age so okay things that may imply that you know the persons are not acceptable and as you can see these are very um, easy to go test little quizzes that you can go through and and just double check your work uh, or even go and learn it before you even get started right just uh, real quick or um, vulgar especially if you're having a lot of issues with your ads getting rejected it's worth it to go through um, this because it's going to save you a lot of pain uh, or extra work vulgar language don't use vulgar language deceptive claims right facebook and instagram can contain false fraudulent or misleading claims or content landing pages they also do check the landing pages so it says we well, here landing pages are the sites that people are direct redirected to when they click on your ad so for example in this i do have a landing page on this ad and they will go and check on that as well right they will go and check on that um, to make sure that it is in compliance right so when people look at my ad uh, they go to the landing page and they see what Is this uh, that's not what I'm promoting I don't know <laughs> why I didn't get in there um, let me close that all right maybe I got my page my page down or something um, but again that's Maybe my internet here is low. This looks like it's still loading. In any case, um, they're gonna look at that, right? So if you put a link in there, if you go to, if you have people taking people to a landing page, they they, they are gonna check for that as well. So keep that in mind. Don't think that they're just gonna stay over here. No, they're going to go and take the extra step to actually look at your landing page. I don't know if they do any opt-in to see what's past the, the opt-in portion of it. But uh, again, you know, why risk it, right? Uh, any landing page must clearly represent the company, product, service, or brand that's being advertised. In addition to following the above contents guidelines. All right. Then you can go through the guidelines there. It's some more don't and do's about uh, what to do in the landing pages um misleading buttons right which of these images will be acceptable in a facebook or instagram ad i will say none which of these images will be acceptable in a facebook or instagram ad? i will say none because uh these are misleading buttons but let's let's see you're right image one image one would be approved because it suggests a video capability and does not actually play a video uh, a video when click image two is allowed because the, the button is a call to action okay so on instagram and facebook when you touch an image um it is it, 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 it actually creates a link to in some ads right creates a link so that's probably why they're saying that this is not misleading while this one it will be misleading because um you cannot put a button to play there um, 
health and fitness so before and after they're big I, they're they're big of facebook is really big into not allowing this before and after um but it says over here which of these images will be acceptable on facebook so if they're saying specifically here that before and after images or images are an expected or unlikely result you cannot use then obviously right this will be the ones that they will not allow uh, this one doesn't have any before and after so you're right images that show the, st the state of health in a neutral and positive way it's allowed okay sexually suggested so you go through that shock and scare tactics so you go through those as well uh, brand assets you add can contain an altered or outdated version of the Facebook or Instagram logos or use trademark names on the main names and logo or other content that imitates or could be confused with Facebook so no Facebook logo at all also by using the logo you shouldn't be implying a partnership with Facebook um, which of these images will be acceptable in a Facebook Instagram ad so I thought it says over here um, you ad cannot contain an altered or a data version okay so no outdated version logo of use or use trademark names domains names logos so all of these show logos which one will be approved uh, could it be this one you're right you can use any of this Im you can use any of these images except for image two three and three image two is an altered version of our official logo because it was changed to appear red image three isn't allowed because it's outdated version of our logo the rest of the logo or brand assets are okay to use in our ad so as long as you don't use the logo to imply a partnership with facebook or instagram so three it says there was another one that you could use image three isn't allowed okay so then four because those are current version of facebook did i get that right image two and three cannot be used so this one because it was alter alter and this one because it's a no um image okay text penalty so if you put too much text in your ad uh in your uh, ad um that's that's penalty as well and i mean it used to be really uh, where they will reject it they still may reject it um but now more there will be a little bit allow some however um it, it will give you a warning to saying your ad text may cost you higher right um meaning they will show it less or um they will show it less or it will be expensive uh, it, they will charge you mad, more to, to have it shown to people um, because of the tech situation if you put too much. So there are some tools there. Are, uh, Facebook, I think it has a free tool there that it tells you, um, you know, how's your your level, your text to image ratio. So that's, that's something else you may want to check. OK, so I think uh, you can you, you get the understanding, right? What sort of things you want to you want to go through right um i think you understand this pretty clear that you do have this resource available to you for free to try to understand a little better about um the ad policies right what what will lead your lead your ads to be rejected and whatnot i think one of the uh things that are that are very hard to understand the, the, one of the hardest thing to understand is that the ad copy all right that's probably one of the hardest when to try to understand um especially when money claims are made that's where i see most of the issues because other things are common sense right like no alcohol no guns no weapons anything like that but there are, are some other things that you may be scratching your head thinking that it could be approved but then um <clears throat> uh it, it's not just simply because again um the ad copy of, thing, uh, of it, I think, is the most difficult one in, in the headlines. All right, that's it for today. Um, I'll see you on the next course. All right, bye.